Hey guys, for today's video, I'm gonna show you how we transform a one-bedroom condo unit into a stylish and homey Airbnb. Be sure to stick around as I share with you some budget tips and advice if ever you're planning to have your space rented. So this condo is a one-bedroom unit with a total size of 52 square meter. Just a little background, this is owned by Tita Elia and Tita Rex who lives in the US and they plan on having this rented out and at the same time make this as their vacation home when they visit here in the Philippines. So the goal here is to furnish with all the complete essentials since they decided to rent this out first in Airbnb and perhaps long term moving forward. It is also important to make this space not just stylish, but homey at the same time. This is the orientation and as you can see, we did a lot of measurements. You don't want to go back and forth to the space, so you have to get all the measurements you need. Because measurement is everything. In here, I used Photoshop to recreate the whole layout and tried placing all the furnitures together. I'm only using shapes to create everything, but you can definitely use anything you're comfortable with. Whether you're just sketching it out using a piece of paper, it is completely fine. After that, I created a list on what is needed per space from furniture to appliances to toiletries and beddings. Then, I usually go to Pinterest to look for some ideas and inspiration. In here, I have created a separate board for this project and just pinned everything I liked. I also searched for some partitions as they wanted it to be included in the space. I'm really grateful that they've entrusted me in decorating their condo. So I have created 5 different designs for them to choose. The first design has a more luxurious feel with white wall panelings and some gold touches. Next is a bit the same than the previous but has some bold accents on the wall, furnitures, and art. This third design is slightly different. It's fun, modern and trendy with all the wood and brass elements, textured rugs, and colored fun accents. For the fourth design, this is more playful and young with all the mid-century modern pieces and geometrical shapes. Lastly, the fifth design is a more formal setup with some elegant touches more like a hotel vibe. So they chose the third design and I think it's fun and trendy. Also you noticed I included this partition which is the only request they asked so we'll definitely go for it. At first we thought of reaching out to contractors to do the renovations like the ceiling works, tile works, custom furnitures and a lot more. But unfortunately we couldn't find any contractors that fits our budget. So we need to let go some of the plants and just do everything ourselves. So I made some adjustments and this time, I challenged myself to learn 3D modelings. In this way, I can visually see the space that makes designing much easier. I sketch up for this and there's actually a ton of YouTube tutorials that you can easily follow. After everything was approved, it's finally time to start painting. We went to a local shop and bought paint materials and a huge tarp to be used as floor protection while painting. Always start by covering the floors before painting. You don't want the floors to be all filled with paint later. For the walls, we always use the Boysen odorless hygienic white in satin finish. If you are painting the walls, it's recommended to use either flat, matte, eggshell or satin and avoid using glossy finishes to prevent light reflections to the walls. Before painting this wall, I added masking tape to create geometric lines. So we basically just need to get the smallest size masking tape and just tape it to form lines on the wall and that's it. Now going back. <laughs> 
Since we're doing a two-tone wall, we only painted half of the wall with white paint and taped the middle part where you start painting the other color to create a straight line. Because the area was so big and the ceilings are so high, I decided to do this trick because I wanted it to be more cozier and at the same time still feel open and bright. These awkward structures on the ceiling and walls makes this area dark. So we painted this area white to brighten it up and also if you have awkward areas like this, Paint them with the same color and avoid contrast so lines will become unnoticeable. Notice that I already stripped down a masking tape, resulting to form these geometric lines. For the bedroom, we also did the same thing by painting it all white except for the accent walls. This area will be the vanity or the desk space. You can instantly transform a boring corner into a more interesting space by painting half of it diagonally. We still ended up buying everything at Mandawi Foam because in here, we can save up to 20% off if you have the MF Home card. This is a 2 HP AC unit for the living area and a 1 HP AC unit in the bedroom. We got this dining set with a 15% of discount. Whenever you buy large pieces like furnitures, it is very important to look for stores that offers huge discounts first before going to other stores that doesn't have any promos. We also got this wooden queen bed frame for 10% off from the same store which offers free assembly. This Mandawi foam mattress is from their Flex Premium line. I suggest to splurge on premium mattresses so guests can enjoy their stay more. Remember that we should treat our guests as VIP and give them as much comfort as possible. Next is we assembled all Mandawi foam deliveries. I'm doing the desk while my husband is doing the two night stands. Right now, I'm installing this foam brick white wallpaper that I ordered from Shopee. I like these kinds of wallpaper because it's so easy to use and it instantly transforms the space. It's really nice to have at least one textured wall that adds interesting focal point aside from paint. Throughout the entire makeover, we really made sure to avoid any custom-made items because customized means spending more. <laughs> but this one is an exemption as this was the only request they asked. The design of the partition was inspired by this unique frame I found on Pinterest and I thought it's pretty cute. This sofa bed is from Mandawi Foam and it's so comfortable that I fell asleep while taking a break.
For the kitchen, I love using this peel and stick backsplash because it's so easy to use that you can do this by yourself. And it's definitely durable as this is designed for kitchen use. One eternity later. I personally use this in my kitchen and it's been 2 years already and so far it's been pretty good and it has not taken off the wall. Also, we used this on my last makeover video. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. I will link it down below. The kitchen cabinets doesn't come with handles, so I thought of pairing this with a brass stainless steel handle that I bought from Shopee. Most pendant light does not come with an outlet, and as much as possible, we're trying to avoid any electrical rewiring in the ceiling. So my husband extended the wires and added a switch and just plug it into the nearest socket. Having a really big carpet will most likely to be expensive, so we got two 120 by 170 sizes for only 1540 each. And just apply a double-sided carpet adhesive tape so it will stay in place. I'll be spray painting this black mirror into gold. This mirror was supposed to hang in the dining area, but it's just too small for the space. So I decided to include this on the gallery wall in the living area instead. When spray painting, make sure you have enough ventilation. So we went to the parking area where I painted the mirror and the photo shelf. We had these extra planks at home and I thought this would be perfect as a cover for the gas range area.
I bought this label maker from Shopee so I can place all complementary condiments in an empty container and label them accordingly. Some books have plastic sleeves in their cover. You can take this off and you'll see that the hardcover looks better.
This makeover focuses on transforming your space without doing major renovations. As mentioned, here's the rough breakdown of the entire cost of the makeover. The space was already listed in Airbnb last January, and since then we're mostly booked until the pandemic happened. We also got really nice reviews from our dear guests. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more home makeovers and DIYs. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one.